Welcome back to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists. Bing, bang, bang. It's time for another special episode. Falling down has been one of the largest forms of comedy since the beginning of mankind. And a very special group of internet uh, creators, comedians, and curators have come together to create what we all know and love as Fail Army. That's right, Fail Army, the smash hit early 2000s YouTube channel featuring people falling down the stairs, falling off of surfboards, and falling onto their nuts. Could not be what it was without the Fail Army writer's room. We gathered all of these writers of Fail Army today in a room to talk process. Get ready to fail. This is the greatest. Listen in. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, all in a room together again. The O5 team, back Woo! at it. The four <laughs> bastards. Hey, hey! Back together, the four bastards. Hey, hey! The four bastards. Hey, someone's wearing the merch. Ah, someone's gotta. No, but like, imagine a monkey throwing shit at that. Imagine a monkey throwing shit oh, yeah. at that. Um, ima- 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 imagine, ima- 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 imagine a toddler wearing that and getting hit in the head with a swing. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but no, but no, but if the toddler and the monkey kind of got together and then they and then they hit each other until one of them cried. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or the toddler's yeah. riding a pig around and there's like a fun song playing and then the monkey's chasing the pig and the toddler with an axe. Oh, yeah, and then they land on a swing, and then the swing hits a mother-in-law. I need a pen. See, this is what I miss. This is what I miss. Where are you going? I need a pen. Where's he going? Is he pissing? Don't drop those pieces of paper like a silly guy. I need a pen. I just, some of this stuff. Oh, you need a pen. I thought you said you needed to piss. I'm like, that's a different video. Imagine if I needed to piss. Like, imagine and, a video of, like, man needs to piss, but line is too long. That's and, funny. And, imagine, and then and he and, pisses imagine, himself, and it's that. his child's play. And, and, I, and he's and, in and, the and, auditorium, and he stands up, yeah. and all the cameras turn to him instead of the kids. Yeah. And, 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 imagine, and imagine I pee on my own feet, and I slip because I'm on a skateboard. <laughs> And imagine then the skateboard, like, hits you in the nuts, and then a teenager goes, oh, wipe out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I we gotta introduce we ourselves gotta, we before we this. get to the creative team. We yeah. could do this all day. We like, <laughs> I God, said, this I, room. I, this was a great room. I said, I don't say. get me. I said, don't get me in a room with these people again unless you're ready for what's gonna come out of it. Because yeah. I just knew it. I just knew <laughs> I'd feel like I was when I was 14 again when we first started this room. I just yeah. knew I'd feel like this. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So, okay, uh, so let's get into it, right? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. just so, for the listener, like, Fail Army, basically, we kind of started Fail Army. We are the writer's room of Fail Army. I know what you guys are thinking. Fail Army is a collection of people failing, messing up, silly hijinks. And you guys think it's all natural and all people that are accidentally doing this. No, every video is actually written, and it was written by us, and kind of still is written by us. I mean, we have a lot of teams that, like do it for us now but yeah. like we are in it we're kind of the brainchild of it you know yeah 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 we're yeah, the failing, yeah. We're the, they call us the failing fathers the failing for fathers the, yeah. <laughs> the failing for fathers the failing for fathers the failing so for fathers the okay. failing for fathers okay let's go so down, let's go i'm down. lindsay i'm lindsay i'm lindsay i uh was one of the original writer writers <laughs> sorry fail um i was a what i was in the writer's room in 05 like we said the founding four failures uh and i um i came to this channel by way of i used to be in the cia and we would come up with new ways to torture people and so i was doing that for a while i was down in guantanamo i was like doing some really fucked up shit and then i thought to myself you know this youtube thing i think it's the future right i think it's the yeah. future and i think i can combine my love for uh comedy and my love for uh to- seeing human beings experience pain 
Maybe. And I think that I can combine these both into a into a into something that's greater than all of us. So which, that's kind of which is crazy. Yeah, because like when you showed up, you kind of showed up in a black car, and this is kind of like it's been like a year since you formally announced that you used to be in the CIA. Yeah. So like when you were pitching yeah. stuff, a lot of the time we'd be like, "Where did you get this crazy zany idea for somebody to be like?" And they were zany. And they yeah. were zany. They and were you, so zany. When you formally announced it, it was a wild day. Yeah. Because we don't formally announce much in the office, or we did before. <laughs> no, no, no. And no, it was no. so formal AF. Because I'll tell you guys what happened. I'll tell you guys what happened. It's that I was, you know, I was keeping this, I was keeping this secret inside for so many years because I didn't want to be treated any differently. I didn't want yeah. anybody to think of me in any which way. And so I just pushed it down. I pushed it down. I pushed it down, all the torture stuff. But then I was visited by three ghosts. I got Ebenezer Scrooged. No and way. It, yeah, yeah. It, That's no insane. It changed my outlook on life. And so I knew that I needed to make a huge announcement and devote my life to good and kind of change the entire way that I was doing things. So I made a big show of it. I remember I made, I, I sent out an email or I, I posted you guys on Slack and I was like, you guys, it's black tie. I'm so sorry. It's black tie. You got to come in because I got something big to say. I, I just want to, I want to give a special shout out too, because I, I know that that hacker group anonymous, that's their newest thing. They've been scrooging um, CIA workers. <laughs> and I just want to give a shout out to them because like, it's pretty amazing. Like I know that they used to like declassify documents and like kind of let people know secrets. And now they're straight up scrooging. Yeah. All sorts of no. like people. I know they're scrooging Kissinger this week, and I'm really excited to see what happens. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what Kissinger does after they scrooge him. Because I have a feeling it's about to be huge. It's, it's going to be big. I can't wait Dude, to see it. I mean, Absolutely the stuff he's done. Epic. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I brought a sort of CIA energy to uh, Fail Army, uh, which is funny because when I was in the CIA, I was kind of known as the, um, as the Three Stooges. They called me Three Stooge because there was okay. just one of me. But I was I brought sort of a three stooges energy. They called the you the three people. stooges. Yeah, yeah, they called me the three stooges. <laughs> three stooge. Three stooge. Well, that's what you said like when you started announcing and talking about all the things here, I was like, Yes, of course. Art informs the artist. Like the work that you're doing yeah. at Guantanamo yeah. being a three one three stooge at Guantanamo Bay, so funny. Being it's the three so stooges good. at Guant Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, yeah. You guys, I feel so guilty, it's unreal. <laughs> It is so unreal. But, it you is know, so unbelievably but like, unreal. I'm super jealous because like, I, I actually feel like it was a missed opportunity because when you uh, announced at a very formal meeting that you were part of the CIA and you were part of the torture innovation team, which you said stands for it, TIT for short. Yeah, and I was like, We could have used that. Like, We could have used, used it. Yeah, that was me. That was me. I know. I wish I could have told you guys. And there were so many times when I wanted to. There mm. were so many times when I would get a phone call from the CIA, but I had to change their phone number to mom. And yeah. stuff like that, so that you guys would keep, keep, <laughs> keep, keep, keep you, you guys, I, I want to keep you guys on your toes. You guys, I love you guys so much. And that was part of the reason why I never went back to the CIA. I wanted to start, yeah. I, I wanted to keep going with the Fail Army. And um, I guess for the viewer, uh, where I'm at right now with Fail Army is that I'm starting a new uh, chapter of Fail Army called Fail Navy. And it focuses on seafaring related accidents. So uh, I'm the head writer of that room. And we're so excited. There's going to be some great stuff coming out with that. We, awesome. Like we, shipwrecks, ships oh, exploding, ships yeah. sinking, and lots like of shit. ship documents falling on the ground. Shark yeah, attacks. The document stuff is going to be really <laughs> funny. I can't wait really to see awesome. the documents. The yeah. ship documents falling on the ground. We got so <laughs> many videos of ship documents falling on the ground. And it's going to blow your mind how funny it is and how fail it is. Um, it's going to yeah, be so think, fail. Yeah, you wouldn't think it would be. But you can tell as the viewer that the documents are kind of important. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Um, I'll introduce myself. My name is Stu. Uh, I came pretty circuitously, uh, just like Lindsay. I came here through... Uh, uh, no mistake, but I, I, I was previously a physics professor at Pepperdine <laughs> University, and I was the top uh, physics researcher and scientist uh, in this country. I, uh, I knew everything about physics. I know everything <laughs> about gravity. <laughs> I, I, I was the one. this guy knows gravity. I am the guy who publicly shamed Neil deGrasse Tyson. I called him an asshat in front of uh, the UN. 
I have I've done all sorts of things, and 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 the UN agreed with me at the end. So let's just say I know a thing or two, and uh, uh, I was working in physics, and then I had a a one year old, and it changed my world because uh, he got into the clumsiest shit, <laughs> <laughs> and it was so funny because I could see you know it's like it's like the matrix when you're it's like in the scene of the matrix when they're looking at the numbers and they're like oh i see the scene and you're like you're looking at numbers pal i was looking at physics uh Mm -hmm. uh, attack my one-year-old i was looking at gravity have Mm -hmm. its way with little clive and and i said this is honestly funny as shit and it was giving me so many ideas my one-year-old truly just anything and everything. We call him Stretch Armstrong because he just get his fingers stuck in stuff from the other way. <laughs> What's crazy is that one year old now eighteen. Now yeah, 18. isn't that crazy? Uh, now isn't they can le- now they can legally fail. Now they yeah. can legally fail. Now he can <laughs> enlist in the fail army. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was underage. And for we so are long. building one. And yeah. truly, yeah. so many. I think some of the best gems, which we'll get to in this episode, but some of the best gems came from you talking about Clive in the room, like yeah, what he would totally. do and how we would use that. I mean, you you're, draw from real life. It's at the intersection of physics and clumsy is yeah. where you start laughing, right? And exactly. I think that's where your career started, my guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, some people say comedy is tragedy plus time. I say comedy is physics plus baby. And I learned that really, well, really closely. Fail. I'd say totally physics fail. Plus baby fail equals, equals fail. Fa- physics plus baby equals fail. Absolutely. <laughs> and I want to say, too, if you look back at a lot of my work, there's Easter eggs. I'm mentioning Clive everywhere. You know, Clive is part of it. And uh, I wanted to leave a little love letter for him about what it's like to grow up through these 18 years of videos. And you can see that in a lot of work that I've done. That's just like what uh, Sondheim did with his son. Exactly. And he wrote all those letters to him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sondheim based uh, (laughs) Demon Barber of Fleet Street on uh, his relationship with his son, right? That's what I'd heard, yeah. You yeah, also so, you developed yeah. something that uh, that mathematicians still cite, I believe, which is the 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 toddler theorem. Yeah. Which is you developed a formula for how fast and hard you can make a toddler fall before they sustain any injury whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. And so you found a way to do it safely, so that no matter what surface the toddler was falling off of it was going to be safe and it was going to be mathematically not harmful to the child. Exactly. If a toddler uh, takes uh, a speed uh, downward at a certain velocity, at a certain angle, there's certain parts of his body that go less fast than other parts. And if we isolate those parts and we hit those parts, he's getting less of an impact when he hits. I do want to make that a, it is called the toddler theorem. That is not based on uh, my child being a toddler. That's based on my last name, Stu Toddler. So yeah, just no, to make sure that's mistake. a common misconception. <laughs> yeah. My name is Stu Toddler. It was about toddlers. Uh, I didn't know that was going to be my life's calling. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm, glad it, I'm glad it actually was uh, coincidental like that. But yeah, I mean, look, it just goes to show ex-CIA, uh, top yeah. physics brain. Like it, took so, it takes a lot to make yeah. a fail army. 100%. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll go. Uh, what's up, guys? I'm Kirsten Kennedy. I am a Kennedy. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, sorry, cat's out of the bag. Nepotism is alive and well. It's alive and well. Well, it's not even nepotism. I'd say it's just like smart, powerful people um, that that are in this room, I'd say. (laughs) And who's smarter and more powerful than the Kennedys? You know, so that's especially right now, especially all the living ones. (laughs) Yeah. Anyway, so I'm Kirsten Kennedy. Um, I uh, started, I, I, I originally found you guys, the founding forefathers. All of us found each other. I think I, it was when I was doing, um, I, I was on Vine and I would just throw my cat. <laughs> and I threw my cat everywhere. And um, ever since then, I've opened a couple cat cafes using some family money. Um, just love cats. And I throw them everywhere. And that's when I originally was like, there's something special here. Um, there's something special with the way we can like use these cats who have so many lives and we could just like catapult them places and we could do funny stuff with them. Um, and that was a big thing for us. I mean, it, a big discussion right when we started was how do we take it from it looking like we're throwing a cat 
to people just assuming the cat fell by itself or did yeah. something crazy. Yeah. And so, you like developed an entire narrative of how we view cats because I think before the internet, like if your cat did something crazy, it was kind of just like something you saw in your own home, right? And yeah. you had no other proof that like other cats were yeah. like this. But the internet came out and then all of a sudden it's cat compilations everywhere. I think you fundamentally altered the behavior of how cats behave. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, I, I remember I was getting my dissertation. Um, I was doing my dissertation in college. And, on what? And, um, it was on hieroglyphics. And back <laughs> in the day, you know how they show these cats in these hieroglyphics and on these pyramids right. all over. And they're there to be feared. And that's when I went, there's something, there's something here to flip that on its head. Mm -hmm. And let's stop making this cat grumpy, dare I say. And wow. let's make this cat frumpy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so, so much of cat culture now can be traced back to Kirsten's dissertation on hieroglyphic cats. I mean, it's crazy. Well, I mean, how but, but it wasn't until I started working itself. with you guys that we found the silly. It was that I started knowing the history and the stereotypes from just mankind of what our relationship is with cats and then take in a silly stack of paper that's sitting in your kitchen that your cat hits with its paw. Yeah. And wow. I, I, it really blew me away, you know, and, and every writer's room, uh, it's coming back to me because every writer's room has a writer who comes in with the facts, comes in with the information. It's not quite funny yet, right? I mean, you got to work on it. Yes, yeah. you always say that to me, guys. I'm not the not funny <laughs> one yet. Not funny yet, but you always start it. You know, you're the start menu on the on the on the funny video game is what I used to <laughs> yes, say. Yes, the start menu. You know, we yes, could sometimes we I will say your videos, your your pitches and videos get a little dark. I mean, they you do. started throwing cats, and we had to really persuade you at the beginning. We can't show somebody throwing a cat into a anything really. <laughs> and it, that's it, yeah. It wasn't without its own controversy. You know, we saw all those articles that you only got those cat cafes because of nepotism, and there were some uh, humane <laughs> reports about you that you shouldn't be given the cat cafes, right? And 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 it got messy, and there were and some ultimately people it got out. buried because that's the least the Kennedys are doing. <laughs> and I'm grateful yeah, for Yeah, that. that's such a gift that you have that the other Kennedys are saying some wild stuff all the yeah. time. And then no, I open a cat, cat cafe. cafe. I, I, I told my people, I said, give it an hour. It's going to be scrubbed. <laughs> yeah, well, you did. You opened cat cafe and you did, a, instead of axe throwing, it was cat throwing, where you throw them against the wall and they'd, they'd attach to different bullseyes. I just want to be <laughs> clear. Was. I just want to be clear. We never officially opened. It was just the soft open. Right. And we got shut down immediately. Um, well, yeah. And that was because you guys didn't I've have learned. a liquor license. So that was the <laughs> only reason you were shut down is because you didn't have a liquor license. And you were serving Well, those kombucha absent. companies are liars. <laughs> <laughs> In what and way? we were selling absinthe. In what and way? we were selling absinthe. We got tricked. We didn't read the back of the kombuchas. And we were selling absinthe in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, guys. Uh, my name is Duvet Beauregard. Uh, I, uh, again, <laughs> came for a very uh, circuitous way here. Um, you know, I actually was one of the top neurophysicists and uh, uh, psychotherapists out there. Uh, I, oh. uh, I, had bu I was very studied. I studied the brain a lot. And my idea in therapy and psychology, I just got so sick of it. These people and their problems, I'm like, why don't you just run and trip? Why don't you just run and trip in something? Why don't you just why don't you just run away? Why don't you just fall a little bit? Why don't you like all my clients really got to me, so I just needed a switch and I found you three and it was just, you know, it was like when lightning strikes. For yeah. me, diving into the psychology of how to mess with somebody and and also produce a video that makes people laugh like this <laughs> i really really like that and yeah. that is what we're going for in fail army all the time is we're going for that laugh that has a little bit of delight in others suffering right mm -hmm. we don't want mm -hmm. the like oh ho ho the harvard lampoon laugh right we don't mm -hmm. want that no shit. no we, we want huh, huh, huh. we want base and we want no. cruelty. we want we want the chive laugh not the and harvard we, lampoon we want we the, chive want the laugh. laugh we want the laugh to come from below if it comes from the head and for some reason they thought of the joke or they thought mm -hmm. of what we it's were doing it's too esoteric it's, it's done no, we don't want and we lose half of americans 
And yeah. Duve, you were so good with that in the room. We because you know brains and you're you're a neurologist. We'd go to you and we'd say, okay, so we wrote this. What laugh would this produce? And you mm-hmm. would tell us. And, and I, do I, honestly, I close my eyes. I picture it. I picture. It, I picture it. And sometimes the laugh would be like, <laughs> and that's and we throw it out for and we fire that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just scrap so, it. I'm kind of laugh patrol. I really try to get us to hit with our demographics, which is uh, fraternities and uh, uh, 40-year-old women looking for pain. Uh, and you know. I think you're forgetting a person who left uh, TV uh, on uh, their computer in a dive bar. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. That's because... an, yeah, we're really that's our trying huge to base. That. That's a huge base. So yeah, let's yeah. jump into it. I mean, uh, we've got so much history, so much. I think it would be great yeah. for them to hear how the actual cookie is made, how we get in there, what sparks us, what's the creative process like. So maybe we just take them through that. You know, we mock a writer's room. Yeah. So first writer's room, uh, we all had to uh, commute to, uh, I believe, where was that? St. Louis, right? We were commuting yeah. to St. Louis on a. We were commuting for St. Louis from all over the place. Yeah, we had from a. We all have, over. Yeah, it it's was the in city. a house. It was, yeah, it's the city. I mean, it's the city of fails. We we love the energy of it, and and it just really. There's so many us. fails going on in St. Louis. I mean, you can't turn a corner without you seeing can't. a fail. I mean, yeah, look, the same was start. We started in Cincinnati, right? Because yeah. that's yeah, yeah, like yeah. sort of the junior leagues for fans. Right, it is. But mm-hmm. then, but know, the but St. the St. Louis, Louis yeah. Well, the St. Louis Arch is uh, a literal. You know, the way I see it, the trajectory of somebody sitting on uh, a firework going up in the air and hitting the ground. You know, that's it's just it, up and down. Stu. And so that's you got it. the energy of that. You're looking out the window, and I said, we need a building close enough to the arts that I can see it as soon as I open my window. Yes. I mean, listen, if you want to be a jazz musician, you go to New York, you learn from the best jazz musicians in the world. You want to be able to write a dad on water skis for the first time ever, picking up his cell phone, falling into the Atlantic. You go to St. Louis. Exactly. Exactly. So we, one of our hit videos too. one of our biggest videos ever was (laughs) dad on water skis, picking up phone for the first time, falling into the Atlantic. And that (laughs) one divided us. I remember the day. I remember Kirsten it came in, tried to pitch this, really try to sell dad on water. Oh, uh, house so, divided. Well, I said too much stuff. Too much stuff. <laughs> I, don't know the, I don't know the physics of the phone. I don't know why the Atlantic, <laughs> the physics of the Atlantic, the water is thicker. The, uh, maybe we should stick with a pool. I think the water is less viscous. People don't water ski in a pool, Stu. That's what I said. I'll always say it. People don't water ski in a pool. And I'm getting heated, and I think we should drop this. But I, I think... <laughs> I do think that uh, it was really. We should talk about the pitch process because that's what we do. We'd come in on the weekend. We'd come in on. Uh, uh, we'd come in on the weekend. We'd come in on a Saturday <laughs> and do our pitch. Because yeah. this was before. This was before our our channel took off, right? So we're all doing our side jobs. We're all working for big places. Yeah, we were all at our side jobs. We'd come in on the weekend and we'd go. Okay, let's talk. Let's 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 fail. Let's fail. We'll let's say fail. no fail ideas. No fail ideas, and that's where we just spitball. We get we we sort of, you know, we we throw out nouns. We throw out types of people who could fall. You know, grandpa, uncle, mommy, yeah. kid, or we throw out objects that they could hurt themselves with: knife, bike, mm-hmm. trike, car, mm-hmm. stuff like that. And we sort of mad libs. Mm-hmm. Our way into a premise. And the, right? the, the crazy thing about this was we had to be so careful to not accidentally make a porn title, which was yeah. tough, you know, because we'd mm-hmm. be saying stepbrother steps on like stepsister's face. That's getting close to a porn title. Close. We learned thumbnails as a group, and that was pretty cool. That was amazing. That day when we all learned them together, we just sat around <laughs> a big computer and we just learned them. That was awesome. We said, you know what? We got to figure out what this Photoshop thing is. We got to do it <laughs> one by one. And everyone took five minutes on the mouse and they got to do whatever they wanted. <laughs> and then- it was like kid pics. It felt so fun. <laughs> it was like. I love when I got my five minutes on the mouse to do whatever we wanted. Three people breathing down my shoulder, watching me do whatever I wanted on the computer. Trying to learn how you're doing that. But guys, those were the times. I mean, I we didn't them. have tablets. I miss them. I mean, I think this was the Wild West before we, we, we realized what worked and what didn't work. And we started falling into a formula, right? And we used to write the formulas out and we used to just fill them. And that was a tough period for me. Blanket, blanket. Blankets hit by blank and blank, right? That was one of our formulas. 
uh, blank tries to blank but ends up blanking. That was another one of our formulas. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can fill those in over and over and mm-hmm. over again. And it was kind of sad. I don't know if you guys blank remember. Blank gets some of our blanked other in the nuts by blank was uh, also huge. a reliable yeah. source. Yeah. Or just blank. I remember if we got tired, we would just do blank. Get bl- blank gets hit by blank in the nuts. Yeah. Stop. Done. And uh, stop. Blank and falls stop. off blank into blank. Full that was stop. A God, Full this stop. is really taking me back. Yeah. I mean, I these are the old days. Back. This is like how the sausage would get made. And, then and, I remember- and the fun thing was, you know, what we were always trying to get, and it was this magic moment in the room when you would arrive at the epic fail. When it, everything, the oh. chemistry was just going and you knew you had an epic fail moment. Yeah. And, that's, and we've yeah. gotten into some screaming matches about what constitutes an epic fail and we what is just a regular fail, right? Yeah. Because yeah. we don't want to yeah. throw that term out to just anything, yeah. right? No. Yeah. I'd love to know from you guys what your favorite epic fails are or the epic fail that you wrote that you're the most proud of. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, an epic fail, you don't just stumble upon it. Always, it almost feels ordained by God. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's also and the I, performances. Yeah. It's not yeah. just the writing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, one of my favorite epic fails that uh, I wrote, uh, if I can toot my own horn, was um, man forgets to put handbrake on car in ice and it rolls down and hits 17 other cars. And while he's running after it, he slips and starts going, oh, no, oh, no, rolling down with it. I was really proud of that epic fail. That yeah, for that me, one. Yeah, that one was really scary until he started screaming. <laughs> it was that, and that for me is a little bit of an epic fail. You've yeah, got to yeah. feel a little scared for the main character, yeah. and then until they break, they break that tension, yeah. right, and they right. start making a goofy noise, and then you go, "This idiot! I really hope he dies." Well, that's yeah. what I'm looking for. Well, that's how we learned our biggest rule at Fail Army, which is a rule that yeah. if someone died, it doesn't hit our channel. <laughs> This is yeah. a fact. And we have to learn. Viewers, this is a hard. real fact. Viewers put their trust in us yeah. that when something fucked up happens on their screen, nobody died as a result of any because of our fails. it is not our job to come into your household and make you laugh at someone's death. That is not my job. Mm. No. no. My is job is to make job. you go, oh. Exactly. That's it. From here. Full stop. One of Can my I- favorite. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I was going to give uh, Kirsten props. One of my favorite ones that I saw her do was uh, family gets hit by big wave on vacation while posing for uh, while posing for a picture. I mean, we it's had a couple subtle, of those. but it's a... so epic. Yeah, it's I mean, so I think that we called the wave period where we did it was a lot of wave work. <laughs> well, I want to shout out, you know, people talk a lot about the diversity of Fail Army. You did that with every race of family, <laughs> which was really cool. We, and I it was sort of like a hands across America moment where it was like every single type of person falling in the exact same yeah. way. It was really yeah. beautiful, really Get unifying. Hit by big wave I felt. by posting while posting beautiful. for photo. Yeah. No, I remember because yeah. we're all human and there's waves everywhere. And the wave period, I really look at it like like Picasso's the blue period because I was going through a divorce at the time. <laughs> and um, I remember just being like, I just feel like I keep getting hit with a wave of just grief and sadness. And you can see and, that in the work. I mean, I and can. You, and you see it in the work. And yeah. it might be because you, but you, but that's also just collaboration. You guys came in and made it really silly. You made it mm. really silly that one time. Who was it? Was it you, Stu, who said, give the kid an ice cream cone when you hit him with the wave next time? <laughs> and you. Mm, that, and was he, that was me. That was me. Sorry, yeah. Cone. Yeah. And the physics of that, somehow, ice cream went f- Flying with the water. It was I knew genius. it. It's pressurized. It we genius. call that we we call that pressurized wave water air. <laughs> and 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 when it does that, it goes right up into the sky. Not a lot of people know it because that type of situation doesn't happen except for in fails. And, that's, and that's yeah, it's, yeah, it's and amazing. that's the magic of fails. I can tell yeah. you my my uh, the epic fail that I'm the most proud of um, was uh, took place on that farm, and mm. um, it was like a family visiting, and they let you milk the cows, you know. And uh, we had sort of rigged this stool so that it fell and flipped over like a bear trap. So if you sat on it, your leg would go all the way up. And then we also had this bin of milk uh, precariously placed on top of a barn. And uh, we also had a towel. The towel was very important. And so you would find yourself, if you tried to milk this cow, flipped upside down, towel over your mouth, milk pouring onto it, essentially waterboarding with milk, which is something... (laughs) 
that you I brought was in. introducing. You really brought in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the amount yeah. of accidental waterboarding videos we ended up having are so, are a ton. There are a ton a of, of accidental them. waterboarding Because videos. I've, what I really tried to tell the CIA, but they weren't interested, is that there's so many other liquids you can use to waterboard somebody, right? It yeah. doesn't have to be water. We can be more original with it. We can have a little bit more fun, you know? Orange juice, a great one. Milk is great because sometimes people are lactose intolerant. Sometimes, yeah. uh, you know, it's just like unpleasant. Yeah. Um, and so, one of, one of my favorite ones you ever did was coach accidentally waterboarded after game with Powerade, where the team dumped yeah. Water, oh, yeah. water on it, but oh, he was wearing yeah. a cloth, and he starts going ah 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 ah, and you wrote that dialogue. I thought that was some of the best dialogue writing incredible. I've ever seen. Yeah, Those well, were I massive. remember we we had some we had some disagreements over should it be ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, or should it be oh fa oh fa oh fa. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I think we ultimately settled on ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, because this guy's classic. He's educated. It was an MIT football team, and so it ultimately yeah. didn't track for the character that he would say, oh, fuck. Totally. Yeah. It goes back to character, character, character. Relationships, yeah. relationships, relationships, character, character. We are character, so character, character driven here. We are character <laughs> really driven. We're a character driven room. I, what I will say, too, uh, I want to talk about my favorite epic fail. Oh, uh, no. Which, a little know controversial. This one. Everyone yeah. knows that it. it's a raccoon on a zip line. Uh, at a pool, but and I was kind of known in the room for those videos in the middle of the montages that you're kind of like, oh, this isn't really a fail. This is just kind of cute. You guys know. You guys know which ones I'm talking about. It's the about. cute fail. Yeah, it's, it's the filler. All of a sudden, <laughs> it's well, it's hard to watch 17 videos of guy getting hit in the no, nuts. Sometimes no, you need an yes. animal a doing song, something silly. A song needs a verse. Yeah, and well, let's be yeah. honest with the viewer: not every video in the best fail army videos compilation that's an hour and a half can be the best. I mean, exactly. come on. We got Are fails. We, stupid? The, we call them lats, short for look at that. A yeah, laugh. It's that's just exactly laugh. what that. we call it. It's just look you look at it and you go, you don't laugh. You go, look at that. Because oh, the, raccoon, that. Think, the raccoon made it. Raccoon. 90% of my work with cats is a laugh. Yeah. Because <laughs> a especially laugh. one yeah, of my epic fails. I have an epic fail that I don't think was deserved. And it was a laugh. And it was a cat just hit a woman's lipstick off the table. Yeah, that's and a laugh. That's a laugh. <laughs> it's a lot. That's we know a lot. It. Look, in order to maintain a successful career in YouTube, the way that we have done, <laughs> the way that everyone has done, your video needs to be 40, 50% lat, or else you will not retain the monetization required to live the lifestyle that we live. And I do intend on living this, <laughs> are I- living this lifestyle. <laughs> I will drive it my goes- car. I will own my house and I will lease out my second house in Lake Arrowhead to Airbnb. Thank you, please. Oh, no. Hey. CIA is coming out. The CIA is coming out. Sorry, Making this demands. is who I was. No, Believe but it or not, a... this was goofy over it's there. Last. They considered this goofy. And Three it's Stooges. Last. Yeah. So which one was it? Oh, yeah. Well, no, I don't think they called her Goofy. <laughs> okay. that's, that's, that's an attribute. They didn't call her Disney's Goofy. They called her the Three Stooges. <laughs> right. They, well, yeah. Yeah, they, they called me the Three Stooges. In my mind, I felt really goofy with it. But just say it. They didn't call you Disney's Goofy. Just say it. <laughs> Did they well, call I don't want to Dis- make anybody feel bad. Like I, 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 I but feel just, like she needs to know no. that they didn't call you Disney's Goofy. Because I'm curious. Well, fine. If you must know, even though it was what I really wanted to be known as, no, nobody at the CIA called me Disney's Goofy, even though I kept asking them to. Okay. They said, no, great. your ass is Three Stooges. And I'm sorry. Okay, great. Now I'm pissed off again. I'm remembering I'm the times in this room when I would get pissed off. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, and it got. It was intense sometimes. So some this room pitching. was a little toxic, right? <laughs> this room was a little bit toxic. Absolutely. It was only toxic and- when you tried to test shit out on us, when you tried to test the ideas on our physical bodies. Well, yeah. how am I going to go on Craigslist and ask for these people to come in and do these these fails when I don't know how they're going to look? I'm a physicist. We do well, things in the lab. We I will say. Stu, Stu, my boobs are not your paintbrush. I'll just say. <laughs> It. You know what? I, you guys were so <laughs> limited in your view to, and your views on what needed to happen. I was OK Go's number one physics guy for all oh, of the music videos. Of course, guys, all it gave them. him 20 minutes to mention OK Go. Wow. <laughs> I thought you'd beat it. Oh, wow. No, no, no. You know what? As they say, here it goes again, because you were always <laughs> jealous of my work with no, OK Go. No, that's another penny in the jar. That's here another penny go. in the OK oh, cause jar. Because I, I you mentioned gotta, a, uh, I mentioned a music video I worked on. 
You worked on one video with the uh, treadmills, and you can't stop talking about it. You, got, and yeah, you act like listen, you're their best friend. I bet you would wish you? you were there, don't you? <laughs> and I listen, you Sue, you Sue, you did a great job going on Carson Daly talking about what you did with those treadmills. I thank you guys for coming to that that that. <laughs> premiere of that episode by the way i know 1 30 was really late to stay up for it's not and a premiere it's just a live taping and i know that this was the era of last call with carson daly where he was mostly doing voiceovers for the voice and then he would say he take a look at this and he'd, he'd cut to something that he didn't have anything to do with and it was some we shot it at some taco place in santa monica and i just talked for a little bit while the camera kind of focused on my hands i know that <laughs> i know that's what this footage was okay i'm grateful you guys came to it I'm grateful you guys and came and watched. And thank you it. for the tickets. Of course, <laughs> tickets to my premiere party. Of course, <laughs> it's a live wow. taping behind a taco truck. <laughs> it was big. Okay, I'm let's go sorry. back. We're, let's talking go back. we're talking about lats. We're talking about lats. This is 27 or 2007 stew coming out, and I really hate that. This is yeah. You know, We've no, done no, a no, lot no. of work. It's We've okay. done a We've lot. We've done a lot of work. work. We've done a lot of work. I'm sorry. Roses I mean, and it w- fails of this interaction fail. I think I jumped on you too fast. Uh, yeah. Rose, I think that we are getting a behind-the-scenes glimpse on how things worked in 2007. Totally. Mm-hmm. I think that's good to know. Yeah, fail on my part. I, I, I did mention OK Go, which is something I haven't done in, in 10 years. And my uh, my my support group is going to be mad You were 10 years sober. Yeah. I was 10 years sober from talking about OK Go. And I, <laughs> I'm going to have to go back, and I'm going to give my chip back to the people that I've been working with. No, nah, keep it. Very sad. Keep okay. it. OK, I just, I'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> but this will come out, and they'll find out about it. Um, and your rose? And my rose. Uh, not my win. My rose. <laughs> <laughs> you fail in your rose. I would say roses, my fail, my rose roses my have fail. prickly fails. Totally. On the That's stem. a good point. Roses have prickly <laughs> fails. I hate uh, when I fall into a rose bush full of prickly fails. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, imagine, imagine though somebody falling into a rose bush full of prickly fails. Like um, imagine maybe like a stepmom falling into a rose bush if after yelling at her really stepson. Uh, my rose is that I uh, didn't throw anything, and and I can he- hear you guys for the first time in probably twelve years. I can hear you guys, and I can see myself, and I'm really grateful you guys are with me. And I wish we were together because I'd be holding your hands. Um, oh, but, Stu, I know this I really is really nice it. to hear. It's, this um, is really nice yeah. to hear. I haven't felt us come together in this way since uh, the America's Funniest Home Videos lawsuit that happened in that was awesome. uh, 2000. Man, they sued us so was hard. They, they sued, sued us, us so, so hard. hard. They said bad. they ha- They said they owned the right to show video. <laughs> Crazy. 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 You that can't was crazy. listen. We legally, you can't own an accident. You can't own a typo. You can't no. own a mistake. You can't Getting own a fail. Getting hit the is public domain. And if anyone tries to claim otherwise, you know, yeah. I think the Supreme Court ruled in our favor. Ultimately, we can keep doing what we're doing. Exactly. Yeah. Thank because, God I mean, you knew we they stacked were... the justices. Thank, Thank God, God your we family stacked got them. in there. Oh, yes. And let me just say, it, we knew the defense was just like hanging on by a thread when they said we needed people's life rights to show right. them getting right. hit by the nuts. Well, that's I'm not going to option out dads all no. over America's life rights for when they taught their kids T-ball. No. Right. And so it's this, it was this hard choice of do we reveal that all the videos are fake and written by us or do we go after life rights for people who don't exist? Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And we won. Mm-hmm. I can't believe it. I can't believe we won and I can't believe we still get to do what we do. Albeit kind of separately in different divisions, but we still get to do what we do. Yeah, so, so Lindsay has failed Navy. Should we go around and say, like, how? Because we started, uh, like, I mean, it was just us four, but then it grew into an army. And yeah. we have so yeah. many channels and so many, like, just incredible divisions. Yeah, we, we can go around. We can definitely go around. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on Dr. Fail, uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, more of a highbrow intellectual phd level type of fail so we it's call a lot it the of, new yorker of fail army it's the yeah. new yorker of fail army it's it's people uh you know using uh the wrong slides in their presentations it's yep. it's people who uh the margins aren't wide enough on their dissertation so the page count is off <laughs> stuff like that it's yeah it, it gets that type of laugh right kirsten yeah. is right um uh it's fun it's not the old days, I'm definitely jonesing for a little bit of the excitement that we used to have, but it's definitely fun. 
uh, it's hard to it's hard to manipulate physics the way we used to in this because yeah. a lot of oh, it's yeah. intellectual. And but I, mean, I, I am cam- there. Our cameras are just better now, so you pick yeah. up on more stuff. You so do. It's and sometimes you know the falls feel too real because you can see yeah. the injuries in higher definition. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's 4K right. now. Every- I, oh, yeah. Uh, around. Yeah. And that's what I love when we do, Lindsay, when you're on set, you always spit on the lens. <laughs> and you go, let's do it like we used to do it. Yeah. It's like spit a weird, lens. aggressive thing. You should really spit on it. It is oh. for two reasons. It's to A, establish dominance over the scene, <laughs> and B, uh, to make it look like a motor roser- roller razor. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Oh, and mm-hmm. it's so much funnier that way. Yeah. Well, yeah, I I've actually... Got, I've got Fail Navy... Uh, Stu has uh, shouts and murmurs, and yeah, yeah. Uh, Doctor yeah. Fail, the Doctor. New Yorker. Fail, I've so got uh, I'm in Fail colon Scary International videos. Uh, that's kind of like uh, you know you see those videos sometimes. We're like, whoa, that's less of a fail and more of a terrifying situation. Like yeah. tiger attacking elephant with man on it, or uh, leopard has escaped the zoo and is now on top of a yeah. children's school. Uh, that's kind of my division. <laughs> I'm. I'm loving it. It's really interesting. Um, yeah, you're doing some really exciting stuff with hurricanes. Yeah. Oh, hurt! Yeah, huge stuff. Very, huge stuff. Uh, all the videos of house flying off. Uh, that's all me. That's all scary international. And it he's falls making under the hurricanes. I'm making the hurricanes. I'm defining the house. It's all. This is the secret. It's all miniatures. That's the secret of, oh. of most global warming things that we're seeing. Miniatures made by me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy because I know they're still sending you to those locations. So uh, yep. are you you're so building I'll, miniatures? Okay. Mm-hmm. Didn't I'll I see straight. you build like a train set near the train? Yeah. So I'll go to a train. I'll build a train <laughs> set. And just, just to get the vibe and the feeling of it, just to get it right, it's yeah. first one to show dominance over the set, that I'm in charge. You know, yeah, that's right. the second thing. Important and, for us. And two, sometimes yeah. you can use the feeling of the train behind you to play into a train derailing. You know, mm-hmm. that's so I'll be all over the world now. I'll go to Switzerland for a fail. Train is shaking too much and might fall off track. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's a great division, though, I found really sinking my teeth into the psychology of it. It's really hitting the point of where do people go, wow, that was actually kind of scary. And they look at their friends. It's a lat. It is a lat. It's and a they lat. look at their friend. But what the reaction I'm looking for was like, whoa, that was actually kind of scary. Yeah. Uh, but then they immediately forget it. They, it doesn't yeah. stick with them. Yeah. Later at night, I want them to maybe have a scary dream about it. Mm. But I don't want it to stick with them for the next fail. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's really exciting stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. finally, me, I – We've kind of passed this baton around. For some reason, it's stuck on me again. Um, I'm still running uh, Fail Army Thanksgiving and Fail Army Christmas. Um, <laughs> and it's just our holiday video compilations. And um, I love it, sure. Um, but I, I'm ready to move on. I, I, I'm looking, I'm pitching But you ideas. kill it. You kill it every year. Every year it feels the same and yet different. You know, yeah. thank you. Yeah. It's just like I do feel a little gridlocked for all the other months out of the year. Um, but I I am working on some small new pitches that I've been pitching the guys. Uh, some just fail army snow um, where yeah. we just do snow stuff because I, oh, I, yeah. I've been seeing a lot of snow stuff and it's just like we got it. We got to get ahead of it. I know our snow um, stuff is all over the place. I mean, we have, it just we, doesn't we have a clear have, voice. We don't have a designated no. place for we snow don't have yet, a take. but it's popping up. Yeah. We, we don't, don't have, have a take. take. It's like is snow hard is it soft is it mushy right. does it hurt your balls does it help your balls right, these are yeah. the kind of things we need to decide as a channel if we're mm-hmm. being transparent yeah well, and if we're doing snow are we doing are our kids involved right yeah because, i would love that i mean yeah. the thing is with 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 snow also physics wise right sometimes baby fall in big snow disappear but sometimes adults fall on hard snow hurt back so those are the differences it's and it's crazy hard to pin down yeah 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 yeah, it's so I, I'm definitely definitely in the weeds with that, and we're working on writing different different things. But I, it is it is really special to um, all come back together and kind of yeah. think tank together like we used to yeah. in the early 2000s. It feels it feels if, really well. Nostalgic. I actually uh, I don't know if you guys did. I I know we sent that memo. Maybe just bring some pitches and we can work it out. I I brought a pitch. Maybe we could live live pitch on it. Um, if oh, you guys I'd would be cool. That. Yeah, I'd love this. Um, this one is just, I, I kind of like pulling from life here. Uh, uh, it's woman opens two liter and it sprays in her face and bottle cap hits her in face. Okay. And she okay. It goes like this. She goes, is she, is she okay, old as great. shit? 
Ooh, is that a question or a pitch? Uh, I can't tell. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> that's interesting, Kirsten. <laughs> Because uh, somebody needs to ask these tough questions. Uh-huh. And I think I see her personally as being kind of old as shit, but not like <laughs> old as shit in the way that that is uh, like lifespan wise. I mean, old as shit as a seven year old boy would imagine is old as shit. So yeah, that's exactly I'd what I was thinking. The sweet spot for women about 41. I think 41 is perfect. I, my question, too, is where are we, right? And is the camera on her when we start, or does the camera kind of jostle its way towards her? That's great. Or was... is she filming a TikTok and this happens? Because this is a whole new – this is something that's, that's kind of new, new within the past, like, five years or so oh, that we've yeah. been able to play with. And that's what I was thinking. That's what I was leaning. Our intern chastity is so helpful for this. She, well, she's the head of uh, Fail Army TikTok now, which has quickly become our largest department, and she kind yeah. of – you know, it's it, we no, should you, pay it's her crazy. more. We should bump her up from intern. We should really it's bump crazy. her up from intern. It is I wild to get... me that we all are on salary for running things like Phil Army Snow. Meanwhile, our main channel, which has become TikTok, um, just a summer. I intern. mean, and she's getting great exposure. She's getting yeah. exposure, and someone told me that she has access to the monetization, and no one else does. So I don't know, but I do uh, feel bad for her. How much money could they be making on that? Uh, probably um, not much, right? No, like, so, nothing, I, right? so I was thinking, yeah, it was a little bit of like she's filming something and she's going, "Hey, I like this. I like this." It's like, "Hey, what's up, TikTok? I just wanted to drink a sip of my soda and it explodes in her face." And she goes, "What if um, she's?" Guys, what was that, maybe? Yeah, what if, I know that we're talking about maybe making her old as shit. What if she's tired as shit? That could be Yeah, good. okay, I like, that and maybe, and maybe, like, what if, like, what if it's next to her laptop and it breaks her laptop, too? I think like, it's good. Like, what if it spills all over her laptop? Uh-huh. And I'm imagining, too, a uh, uh, big forehead with tight hair and a really tight, padded-down uh, ponytail kind of in okay. the back. I love that. Big forehead, tight, padded fun. ponytail. Like, she That's looks like she funny. teaches cheerleading practice or something. That'd way. be really That's good. I, now, That's- I was wondering, uh, just building off of that, if the soda could be um, acid, if it could be, yeah. like— like oh, okay. Switch acid. it. Switch it. She's actually like in a lab. She's in a lab, so and it's I'm an gonna acid. go against that. I think we're gonna stick with soda. I think soda's a better way. I think acid is it, it's skewing a little bit more towards uh, closer to death, and that would See, be a little. See, and for dangerous. the listeners right That's now, that's interesting. This yeah. is this is okay. what usually happens, right? We've been playing with this idea. We've been playing with this play-doh, and now we're at a crossroads, right? right. It looks like the room is divided. Half want to make it acid. Half want to make it soda. Um, right. And this is always where the going gets tough. Right? Okay, what if, what if we meet in the middle, not cut soda, it is one of those volcano projects. She's 41 helping her kid, and it's and the kid pours it in without yeah. her knowing, it explodes in her face. It's That's Coke amazing. Mentos. That's, That's Coke amazing. Mentos. This I, is and good. And I'm pressing my button and I'm turning around because I would like that on my team. There Damn. it is. The Damn, voice you starts. press the button. That's you press the button and, and you stole And you guys always them. know how to reel me in because a lot of things that I pitch – are sort of like could lead to someone dying and yeah. so i am really grateful for this room because you need a bunch of writers with different perspectives yeah, yeah your stuff is really torturous and really dark it's almost like uh it's almost like i'm watching a fetish website whenever you talk yeah it's, it's intense. crazy <laughs> and i do want to mention i did mention the button and the voice thing we were the actual creators of those chairs and they yeah. were stolen because CeeLo was a writer for fail army before he was a musician just a second his pitches so were let's so it. sweet let's address <laughs> well, they were so those chairs Sweet, but they were also homophobic, which yeah, is why we had to were. let him go. We yeah. had to let him go. We had to let him you, go for a, a lot of his reasons. pitches. Were what if a man kisses a man? Isn't no, that a no, fail? Yeah. that's not a like, fail. CeeLo, no, and that's, that's a fail, not see. a fail. That's just same love, CeeLo. That's CeeLo, same that's love. love. I would say those chairs were never meant for public consumption. Those chairs weren't meant to be a uh, like a spectacle. It was an easy way that we could show that we liked an idea. Yeah, yeah, right? it was practical. Yeah. It's physics at work. I mean, it was just beautiful. And it, well, it's, a, it's a shame they've been commodified. It is. It is a shame. Just to finish off this video, I mean, does anybody have a pitch for the last line, first line, last line? Uh, well, we have- I would say we could lean into, um, you know, improvising. Uh, yeah. uh, because that reminds me, you know, I, I feel like we're ready to start talking about casting for this. Yeah. Um, because casting is such a huge part of it, and I think we'd love to let people in. I mean, there were some of our favorites, right? Um, first off, I think Leslie is somebody that came to my mind as somebody who could do this one really well. Leslie. Remember Leslie? Be, yeah, Leslie. She's she one lives, of our go to. She's, she's one of the yeah. ones that you, she only has sell. She's in Oklahoma. She only has cell service between 2 and 3 p.m. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it's and, so it's hard great. to get a hold of her, but she's been great. She's been with us for so long because it's funny because we started working with her in uh, 07. We found her on Craigslist. Yeah. And uh, by at that point, she was in the hot girl, drunk, falling off of stuff typecast. And mm-hmm. she has slowly aged, aged herself into in. the mom having something bad yes. happen to her typecast. so cast. sweet. Oh, it's so sweet part. to see that. And the, the day best... we decided that she had to change was a tough day. She was not ready yeah. to have that conversation. No, yeah, she but wasn't she, ready. she was 25. I wasn't it ready. Was about, <laughs> it was time. It was time. It was time. She was 25 years old, guys. Yeah. She was ready. She was ready to be tired as shit. But I'll say that Leslie has a fact a factor with her that we look for in all our Phil Army actors, which is no matter how many times you see her face, you'll never remember her face. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we can use yes, her that's so over important. and over and Leslie's over. Leslie's been over. in probably 60% of our videos, and you and guys wouldn't know. And you're never going to think she's And familiar. you have no Not idea. And uh, with the invention of AI, which is something we love. We uh, love. We love it. We love. love. Bring it on. With AI. Bring it on. Yeah. We're this is the future. We no longer have to pay actors more that like we can only have three actors on staff and then we duplicate them and that way we can inflict more pain on them. So we are yeah. so excited. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're so excited. Uh, well, thanks guys. Thanks for that pitch. Anybody else got a, a light pitch? Oh yeah, I didn't I don't mean to put I mean Leslie's a great improviser, but if anyone does have a good last line, I'm down to hear it always. Um, we know I always pitch if uh, if a human or an animal said meow. I think that's always. Yeah. Really I yet, think that funny. would be awesome. Yeah, but I don't I know if that works for this video. I would always pitch a child's name. I would always pitch saying a child's name. I would always that's say good. The, saying like Anthony. Yeah. That's Anthony. good. Anthony. What if she went? I know you're wondering. How did I get here? That's interesting. That's, that's maybe interesting. a little on the nose. That's okay. <laughs> I would okay. say. What about? Well, uh, that's uh, for just... our narrative channel. That's for our narrative channel. We're we're uh, which we're cats to make out of the bag? TV show. Sorry. Oh my bag. gosh. Sorry. Are, we, are we announcing it in yeah. the middle of the strike? Fail Army scripted TV show is coming out. We are writing it. We are. Uh, we are. Well. The WGA actually said that this was fine because they don't yeah. really consider this the, much of anything. Yeah, yeah, they were they were trying to avoid this thing. They said, "Go ahead, we don't care. Just they don't said, attach you know us what? to it." <laughs> this yeah. is a where you're fine. Yeah, and I think that was so lovely of them. I think that's but, uh, so nice. Fail Army, the scripted show, follows a uh, faceless man named Mark. Stumbling through the world, getting his balls knocked around, and uh, just face planting into things. But the twist is that he has kids and he wants to be an actor. So That's we're following the twist. his journey. The uh, twist is that Hollywood. he has kids. <laughs> and oh, the thing about him is he has giant balls. This guy has giant balls. And that that's why you think get he hit. wouldn't have kids because it's like there's no yeah. How will you have yeah. how This you guy's have balls, balls are too balls. big. Yeah. Yeah. His exactly. balls are like the Liberty Bell. How would he have there's kids? no way he's viable. <laughs> and you guys are forgetting the reveal at the end of the first episode. He also has a large Italian family. <laughs> oh god and that's and a reveal that we're saving <laughs> and that it, is it, a, it, a family the, of not, yeah. women who that's are tired and egg. old as shit <laughs> Absolutely. like we didn't want to reveal it but he last shot you're kind of watching this guy get thrown around and you're you know first pilot drop is like oh my gosh he has kids how could he have kids his balls are too big last shot he's walking in he opens the door and he goes yeah all my family's here and it's a large italian family sitting and around we're screaming pulling- we have the DP who did that um, that commercial where you zoom out and you see everyone who's working their wave. Yeah, we that's got the him. That's DP we're working <laughs> we, we got, got him. We got him. Yeah. You, know, you know that commercial? You know that one commercial where we zoom out and see everybody wave? That famous, famous commercial where we see. Or it's like they're all working at a mattress place or a bank. It's that one DP. We got him. We got him. Yeah, we got him. We got him. We, we got, got the him. guy got who, does, who does who does employee sick. shots. <laughs> Static, em- straight on employee shots. He's we shooting got, the whole pilot. We got, we got the guy who does the employee badges at CBS Television city we he got has him the photos for the badges and we got him you've it, seen him on lanyards now you're seeing him on your tv on your, and in taxi in your cabs. living room yeah absolutely yeah <laughs> well guys, guys this has yeah. been great um do we have any final advice maybe uh, just for young our, young fail writers? for young fail writers uh, how to get in how to <laughs> be the I'd best say, in your field is what i would say be the absolute best 
that you can be. That's and wild advice. Because uh, <laughs> what goes up must come down. <laughs> just like if you're tracking the St. Louis Arch. <laughs> Uh, be the best you can be, and uh, so if you shoot for the moon, you fail among the stars. Is what I would say. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'd say listen, listen, listen okay. to the and, people around you. And what if they were listening now? What would you tell them? <laughs> I'd say listen harder. <laughs> if you can listen for the smallest sound in the room, you are gonna hear a fail. That's funny because Kirsten is doing subliminal messaging right now. If you play her message in reverse, she's going to say a swear. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to say a swear. A swear. swear. I'm going to say a swear. Yeah. One so swear. I'd say listen. I'd say listen. My advice is that uh, the word ow is funny. The word ouch is sad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still waiting for you to tell me about oof. Oof is a gray area. You know, I think you got to learn the rules before you can break them. Oof is, you know, once you've mastered writing for like a while, you can start implementing oof. But a lot of writers yeah. are too green. They pull an oof too early and it yeah. just feels inorganic. It feels inorganic to the scene. Guys, so that's my samples, opinion on oof. Yeah. A lot of people have opinions on it. That's fine. No, for sure. I just want to let anyone know who's listening. If you're if you're sending us samples and they have oofs, I would just like get a friend to look at it and really yeah. see if that oof yeah. means. We're kind of sick of yeah. samples with oofs. Like, uh, and that was kind of my um, my advice was the stuff that we're getting we've seen before. If you're gonna write <laughs> fails, you gotta find your own unique voice on a fail. It, yeah. You can't do what we want you to do or what you yeah. think people want. You have to do what's unique and original to you. If you have a faily friend, don't run away from them. Get out your notebook. Yeah. yeah. I would, yeah. A, and I yeah. would say packet submissions are open until yeah. uh, September 9th. So yeah. feel September free. September 9th, remember, 2027. 2027. Yeah. And then we have to stop. And then we're calling it. Looking. Then we're calling it. Then. And then we have to stop looking. Um, but it's, uh, once again, it is four pages of nouns that someone could be hit in the face with. Yeah. So it's four pages of noun pitches, and then it's four pages of substitute words for ouch, and then um, it's uh, three it's three to five page topical sketch. Oh, and, and I want to say this. Um, make I it political. Make yeah, sure make, it's make political. It political. It's got to be political. It's got to be funny. Yeah. We also love an impression if you can include an impression, just attach yeah. it as a video. And guys, and just, I just, just want to let yeah. you know. Oh, sorry, Stu. I just want to say just and just a list of locations you have access to. <laughs> <laughs> That's always really important. And then I'll say, um, uh, guys, I've seen. Uh, there's nothing you can write that I haven't seen a cat do. I there's yeah. nothing right so like don't try to don't try to show me something in the cat world that I haven't seen before because I've seen it yeah we already written. have a cat guy so we already have a cat guy. It. there's no there's no human activity I can see a cat do that will make me surprised yeah. so just start from truth and listen mm -hmm. listen great uh bye <laughs> <laughs> This has been artists on artists on artists on artists answering the question. Now that's what they call show business. Good night. We've never uh, ended on goodbye. I, <laughs> I don't know why I this. said that. Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists is an improvised Hollywood Roundtable podcast created and performed and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Colhane, Angela Giratana, and Patrick McDonald. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AO, 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 A are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, Hollywood.